five likes and five dislikes about the 2021 Toyota Land Cruiser Heritage Edition, and it's the last brand new Land Cruiser in the United States. So guys, before I get into this in every like and dislike video, this vehicle is awesome. It is a very good vehicle. I only had it for about a week from Toyota, but I was still able to develop at least five things that I didn't like and five things that I did like. Your opinions may be different. You may think I'm completely wrong, but these are mine, five likes and five dislikes. Let's get into it. So let's start out with number one, the appearance. The Land Cruiser 200 series just looks absolutely stunning. It is a great looking rig, and the Heritage Edition takes it one step further with the beautiful darkened grill, nice darkened headlights that actually perform really good. Those LEDs are amazing, but the look of it on the outside in this beautiful magnetic gray color looks very good. Down to the bronze wheels with Toyota spelt out in Heritage style on it looks absolutely incredible. Heritage style Toyota Land Cruiser badge right here. Love that badge. The only downfall, and I will talk about it, is up there. That is a sneak peek at one of my dislikes. But number one like is the looks of this vehicle. It's absolutely incredible. A complete iconic rig. It is going to go down as one of the most amazing SUVs really sculpted. I mean, this thing, it, it looks so good. Let's get into number two. Coming on inside for number two because it is the ride quality. I cannot portray ride quality over the camera. But this thing for being a almost 10, 11 year old, I think, platform of an SUV is solid. It is so solid of an SUV. Completely quiet, except for the sneak peek thing <laughs> that I don't like, but completely quiet in here, so refined. Just, it is literally a brick moving through the air. I got 15 miles per gallon, but it is so quiet. The suspension is so good. I know these things off road great, but the second thing that I like is just how good it drives. With that is number three, and that's the powertrain. So number three is right here, guys. 5.7 liter iForce V8, an amazing, 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 amazing bulletproof motor, and it is attached to an eight-speed transmission in this truck. That eight-speed transmission drives so, so well in this. Every Toyota owner of this V8 knows that it is a pig on gas mileage, but it is still torquey. It is still peppy. Attached to that eight-speed transmission, you have power in so many gears that you just put your throttle down a little bit and the truck will get up and go. It is an amazing, amazing power plant. It does suck that Toyota is going away from this. I understand why, unfortunately, but man, such a good motor. That is number three. The powertrain in this Land Cruiser is absolutely incredible. Getting into number four, and that's back here. First things first is you have an automatic tailgate, which is very nice. And then you also have this spot down here, which is cool, drops down, and you have your own tailgate to just come in here and sit on. It's very nice if you're tailgating somewhere, actually overlanding, camping out, whatever you're doing, you have this area of your Land Cruiser to look out into a nice, <laughs> cul-de-sac little and a fire hydrant right there and hear people hitting golf balls but you can just sit back here and enjoy the weather or wherever you're at maybe you're at a lake or something and this is your view of a lake instead of this but as my number four thing in the back of this land cruiser coming back into the inside i enjoy how simple it is in here a couple weeks ago i had a lexus lx570 that is a land cruiser's lx brethren a little bit more uh, luxury, I should say, a little bit more, not refined, but just uh, spruced up a little bit. Still just as old, but a little more spruced up in the luxury department. When I got into this Land Cruiser and saw dials, didn't see a ginormous freaking pad here to somewhat utilize a ginormous screen, I liked it. Driving it felt like a Toyota. Sitting in here felt like a Toyota. I was so comfortable in this cabin because I just knew where everything was it, was, it was very refreshing because I personally did not like the LX570. It was great, it was a nice luxury vehicle to drive. I didn't like it. I mean, I liked it, I didn't love it. I freaking love this vehicle. And it just being Toyota on the inside, you know, some cheaper materials here on a $90,000 steering wheel, plastic up here, on a $90,000 vehicle. This is not aluminum, it is plastic right here, but it feels like a Toyota. 
it feels everything's still solid the whole truck is still solid just getting in this seeing how simple it was feeling that it's a toyota that is my number five thing let's get into things now that i dislike about this vehicle all right let's start with that number one dislike and it is this yakima roof rack ninety thousand dollar heritage edition car very cheap yakima roof rack um, I don't understand why they put this roof rack on this vehicle. It is, it is functional. Don't get me wrong. It's a functional roof rack. You could put a basket of stuff up here, coolers, chairs, whatever you need. You could put that stuff up here. Um, but if this is meant to be like an off-road rig, it would have been cool if they partnered with a actual roof rack company like a front runner or something and did an actual roof rack across this. I do understand they have the moonroof here. It's a little bit short of a roof itself, but I don't know. This rack, not only um, does it look just a little bit cheap up here, it looked great on the Venture Edition 4Runner, um, but just not the best up here for some reason. It is loud. It's actually a pretty loud rack. Can you hear the rack? It's at 60 miles an hour. <laughs> Driving the Land Cruiser, like I said, it was very refined very quiet, a very nice vehicle to drive. I heard a ton of wind noise coming from that rack. Coming inside for number two, and it's on the sticker. That price, $90,000. This is a press vehicle, so there's no options except for the third row seats. But $90,000 for this car. Yes, it's Toyota Luxury. Yes, it's the Land Cruiser, the iconic name for off-road, for Toyota. But $90,000, and you don't get really anything inside. It feels like a plushed up 4Runner, which is about $45,000. So, which is expensive in itself too. But if you compare like a brand new TRD Pro 4Runner, that at least has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, an updated infotainment screen. This does not have that. This does have at least air-conditioned seats and a third row, which I do get. But you can almost buy two 4Runners for the price of this. I, I don't like that at all. So the number two thing that I do not like about this vehicle is the price tag itself. Now, will this thing in 15, 20 years be a bargain of a used car? Probably not because <laughs> it's a Toyota, but it will be at a price that it should be at maybe, you know, $40,000 or so for a very well kept one. Uh, but I really think that this thing's target price, even though the Sequoia sits there too, which in my opinion is a little high in price, should be probably $70,000, uh, which is still a lot of money, but I, I, I do not understand $90,000 whatsoever, especially because it's an older vehicle. This platform has been around for a while. It has seen some refreshes here and there, but it is, it's an old truck. It's, it's an old girl, and they're still fetching that price. So number four, and as you guys could tell, I'm really trying to stretch this and find stuff. It's this mirror. Now the mirror itself is perfectly fine. It functions as a mirror. But in my wife's $35,000 RAV4, if you flick this, this will become a camera and it will show you everything back behind your vehicle. So in this $90,000 Land Cruiser, you don't have that option. Literally just the mirror, nothing special. The RAV4, it's a nice, nice high definition video that looks really good and, and because if you have crap in the back of your Land Cruiser it's functional and it'll work like if you have kids back there because this is a third row seat and you can't see out of your rear view mirror it'd be cool to flick that button it's a video of literally what's behind you and it works really well I use it almost all the time in my wife's RAV4 especially when we have stuff back there it works really well it's hard to get used to but it works very good and the last thing guys that I dislike and it's not about this Land Cruiser it's about the 200 series in general. It's going away. That's the thing that I don't like. It's going away. Now, I understand why. Toyota, they, they overpriced this thing, I think, to where the market, at least in the U.S., it's really gone. Um, the used market for these things is good if you can get them at a good price. But for brand new, they don't sell a crazy amount like they used to. That's why I feel that for the 300 series, it's all overseas. It's all in the UAE, everywhere over there that, you know, everyone drives these things because it's one of the only luxury brands in those countries. For us, we have so many here in the U.S., you know, from 
Lincoln to Lexus, BMW, Ford. I mean, and I feel that Toyota is just going in a different direction. So the 200 series, at least this type of Land Cruiser is effectively done in the United States. This is the last year for this amazing, amazing vehicle. Toyota may have, you know, shot themselves in the foot when this price of this thing kept going up and up and up. And maybe the demand for it went down. That's why they're not bringing it to us. But rumor has it that there is a off-road focused SUV from Toyota coming. Not sure if Toyota canceled that here because they're just going to bring Land Cruiser back or some sort of the FJ. I don't know, but that may be the reason why Toyota also stopped this truck here in the United States. But the number five thing that I dislike is that it's going away, unfortunately. So guys, I really had to hunt for five things that I did not like. All in all, this Land Cruiser is an amazing vehicle. Like I said, it's gonna be a great bargain vehicle for someone in the future looking for a great used off-road vehicle, a great used luxury vehicle. The Land Cruiser is iconic. It's an amazing rig. So if you guys are new around here and you guys like this video, definitely make sure you subscribe. Returning subscribers, as always, I appreciate your guys' support, and I will catch you all in the next video. All right, see you later. Thank you.